Today I'm going to show you guys a really cool AI powered website. This site is specifically designed to allow you to build apps entirely from text instruction. This website is powered by GPT-4. It is free to use, but it does have paid plans. And it truly is just the very beginning of how we're going to build custom tools for ourselves in the future using AI technology. This site is a great example of how powerful GPT-4 really is. So here's the landing page for the site. It's actually called Pico. And they literally say, build web apps by simply describing what you want. Sounds pretty fantastic. It almost sounds too good to be true. To be honest, I didn't think that we were at this point just yet, but this site proved me wrong. Like I said earlier, GPT-4 powered a text-to-app quote-unquote platform that allows entrepreneurs, consultants, small business owners to build simple web apps using just plain English. So this is a no-code kind of thing. If you don't know how to build websites, if you don't know how to use HTML, well, GPT-4 knows how to do that for you. No more struggling with no-code tools and technical jargon. Just describe your app idea and let Pico do the rest. So this thing actually takes it a step beyond traditional no-code tools. Because sometimes those no-code tools can be a little bit difficult to use. An example of a no-code website builder would be something like Squarespace, which is a good website builder, but they can charge their own rates for things and you can't exactly do everything you want. This is a lot easier. It's simple language description to exactly what you want appearing before your eyes like magic. They They've also got some examples of some things you can do. Again, they're promoting this from a business format. You could grow your business with lead generation apps, create web apps in the forms of quizzes, interactive content. This is what I think most people think of when they, they imagine building their business with a tool like this. Streamlining your processes with custom internal tools, create task management tools that align with your business processes, customize CRM that tracks your customers in a way that works specifically for your business. They are trying to present themselves as something that you can already use in your businesses. I don't know if it's exactly at that level yet, but we'll put it to the test in this video. Build engaging apps for your followers. Create an app that helps them solve a problem, educates them on a topic, or provides a unique experience that keeps them coming back. With Pico, you can easily build apps to keep your customers engaged. They do actually have clickable demos for all of these, so let's just give them a shot real quick. We'll open these in new tabs. So yes, this whole little mini app was built right in Pico using GPT-4. It literally just came from a text prompt. Set priorities for your day the day before instructions. All right, my number one priority tomorrow, eat a cantaloupe. That is my number one priority. Three important things you want to do. Go to the store, purchase cantaloupe, eat cantaloupe. Five quick things you'll do. Grab keys, sit in car, drive to store, find cantaloupe, carry it to checkout. Generate my 135 daily plan. All right, so it was able to generate the plan really quick. I mean, we kind of just wrote this out ourselves. But I mean, it was a simple little HTML coding process that it, it did here. My daily 135, one big thing, eat a cantaloupe. Three important things, go to the store, purchase cantaloupe, eat cantaloupe. Five quick things, grab keys, sit in car, drive to store, find cantaloupe, carry it to checkout. I don't think my cantaloupe example worked very well. In this. All right, so this is a modern operations leaderboard that it generated. Apparently, we need some kind of authorization code to access this one, so I can't even use it because I don't know where to get the access code. So this one is a dead simple radio. You can go FM or AM here and adjust volume. I'm not going to play any of this music because it's probably copyrighted. So this one actually works pretty cool and pretty well. But yeah, simple web apps that GPT-4 developed just from text prompts. Let's see if we can make some ourselves. This is pretty crazy. 12,000 picos and counting. Last time I checked on this site, it was 6,000. So the numbers have doubled since I've last been on this website. All right, let's go to the builder. Welcome viewers to the building setup of this website. It says build me a dot dot dot. So this is the one that they actually give you right off the bat. A to do list app that includes an inspiration quote at the top that changes each time I load the page where you can just make a small to do list. Let's do something really simple. A button in the center of the site that plays a fart sound when clicked. Sure. Let's see if it can build it. And I like that it actually shows you it building 
in real time and then literally the features will pop up on the screen or on the web app. Uh, and what's nice is if you guys actually do know how to edit the code and stuff like that, you can actually edit the code directly and iterate off of your previous generated codes with Pico. And there's our fart button actually emerged and it's going to get some sound from this soundj.com website. And there it is. Our web app is done generating if we click it it doesn't actually seem to be playing any kind of a fart sound let's go ahead and edit the code directly this is where we actually see all the code for the site my guess is that gpt4 has an outdated link here and that this link actually doesn't yes yeah, see download failed requested file is not available so it's not really gpt4's fault it's not like it wrote code for a broken web app it just doesn't know that this link is now bad. All right, I went ahead and found a working link. And we can literally just go ahead and replace the link inside of this code. We'll save the changes. And now the fart button actually does, in fact, work. So I don't blame GPT-4 or Pico for that at all. It just gets these outdated links. Because if you guys remember, GPT-4's training data stops in 2021. What's also cool is that we can go ahead and iterate on this app and say, can we actually tweak this and change something about it? Make the fart button twice as large. Let's see if it can do that. And it seems that it was able to do it. That fart button does seem to be uh, twice as large. And it still works. What's also really nice about this Pico website is that whenever you make one of these Picos or little web apps with GPT-4, it actually makes them live at a website. So you can go ahead and test it out on any one of your other devices, or you could send your friends the link. You can literally copy or tweet the link right here. So we'll just copy this one. Here it is literally right here. So they actually do offer some sort of free hosting. However, you can only host it on your own custom domain when you pay, which makes sense. And you can only download it with Pro. But we've also got settings like we can change the app name, which normally is auto generated. But yeah, it's pretty cool. As you can see, it also works on my phone. There it is pulled right up on my phone. I can go ahead and try to tap this button. Let's go ahead and try to make something a little bit more productive. So what's really cool is they also have a meta GPT builder, which is very similar to the original Pico builder. However, this builds chat GPT powered apps. So these apps actually can have chat GPT's power behind them when you write your ideas. This is going to be a long shot for it, but I want it to build a to do list that automatically sorts its items based on priority as determined by the GPT AI. So the GPT AI has to have an opinion on the priority of my own to do list. I don't have high hopes for this. Oh, Oh, what information do we need from the user? Okay. Task title, task priority. No, we don't need that because that's determined by the AI. Yeah, task due date is good and task details optional. Yeah, that's that's fine. What should we prompt ChatGPT with? You can actually let ChatGPT build this portion of itself and you know we'll just give it a shot i don't think this is gonna work because it seems like you're just using traditional chat gpt output which means that it's not going to be able to figure out that it needs to interpret the chat gpt output itself to determine the order of the list let's just see if it if it does something well it's giving us the the task title and the task due date here as it's building which is good oh task details sort me robot okay so it's understanding some of this context here this is like what it would look like i suppose as an app that's pretty good i feel like this app could be a little too complex and it might be running out of tokens to generate this maybe pico has access to the 32k model which would allow for much larger generations however i'm a little doubtful on that all right it's it's apparently done homework the due date is oh my god it actually built a, a working calendar here the due date is on friday this is homework for a class i am failing sort me robot okay so what it's trying to do is it's taking our task title the date and the task details and then is trying to create a list for how to complete this homework for a class i am failing observe homework and complete assignments other homework assignments if applicable prioritize by due date and importance non-school related tasks and errands so it it actually makes us a to-do list based off of the single task title uh so it's sort of came close to working there considering i don't even know how to use the meta gpt builder this actually got shockingly close to what i wanted let's try to use it a little bit more i made the task title here by roses for girlfriend 
Task details, I don't even like her anyways, sort. So let's see what GPT thinks of someone buying roses for the girlfriend that they theoretically don't even like. Oh, interesting. Well, we have a to-do list here. <laughs> Observe buy roses for girlfriend and 2023-05-12. I don't, and I don't even like her anyway. Oh, okay. And now we have some random to-do lists. Two, organize closet. Three, pay rent. Four, schedule dentist appointment. Five, research vacation destinations. Six, order groceries online. Seven, call mom. Eight, pay credit card bill. Nine, buy new running shoes. Ten, clean bathroom. So it just gave like a very basic random to-do list. It kind of doesn't really work but honestly it came shockingly close i'm still very impressed that it was able to pick up on all this context and honestly it looks pretty nice for uh for this little app let's do a new app so now i sort of have an idea of how this thing works this next app is going to be morality judger and it takes a potential action that the user is about to act out and gives a GPT AI generated response to the action with a judgment. The website is going to be colorful and animated. So this one's a little bit more simple, but it actually broke this little builder that, that Pico has. I see now how the chat GPT prompt is going to work. This is literally what the prompt is going to be for chat GPT. All right, let's go ahead and see if this one works. Oh, we got another colorful background. Oh, all right. So we've got some actions in here. The app seems to be a little bit more broken than the other ones. It went with like a different font here and we've got emojis. Hmm, it seems as though the website is currently stuck here building this. All right, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. But here's the app that it actually built us. It's passive aggressive AI. We type our action in here and then the AI processes it and gives us some sarcasm on that action. Going to go to the store and buy a cantaloupe. Unleash the sarcasm. Well, congratulations on your impending journey to the store to buy a cantaloupe. Is this a life altering mission or just a mundane task to satisfy your cravings? Either way, I suppose it's admirable that you're willing to venture out in the world to procure a fruit. Who knows, maybe you'll encounter some unexpected challenges or obstacles along the way. Or more likely, it'll be a completely uneventful and forgettable errand but hey proud of you for taking on such a bold and daring task <laughs> okay that's pretty funny this one actually did a pretty good job let's see if i could just utilize this over and over again we'll give this one a little bit more context i said i am about to build a sandcastle i am 23 years old i don't know what this big circle is oh okay well aren't you just the epitome of mature and responsible adulthood Building sandcastles at your age, how impressive. I hope you enjoy your little jaunt into childhood nostalgia while the rest of us are out here adulting. Don't forget to bring your little bucket and spade and make sure that you don't get sand in your shoes. Wouldn't want to ruin your grown-up image now, would we? <laughs> Okay, this one's pretty awesome. This one, I mean, you guys can literally, right from this link, go in ahead and use this thing. I don't know why there's a giant circle here. So that big circle, I guess we can tweak it and say, remove black circle. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay, so I asked it to remove the giant circle that it put on the screen. And instead we have this little half, I don't even know. I don't even know what you would describe this shape. It, honestly, it invented a new shape. Let's see, this is probably the prompt that is actually being given to ChatGPT. It's pretty easy to understand this code. So yet editing it won't be too difficult. Anyways, what's really cool about this is we can actually go to our history and go back to the V1. Restore back to the V1. So if you guys want to try this one out, which is probably the most fun one, you can actually go ahead and see it on picoapps.xyz slash redphysical. I guess I'll link it down below if you guys want to try this one out. But it would be pretty easy to go ahead and just edit the chat GPT prompt in here. So if I wanted to make this better, because this is a really bad prompt, I easily could. All right, I have adjusted the prompts here and then I can save it myself. So we'll try this ice cream one and see if it's going to be sarcastic now. I, I gave it a better prompt. Oh, wow. I wish I could live life on edge like you and eat some ice cream, but I just don't have the guts to do something so wild and unpredictable. Have a blast with your mundane, unimaginative dessert choice. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this one's good. Yeah, so 
you guys should try this one out and let me know if it's a uh, if it's a lot of fun but this is pretty cool so when this tech actually gets a lot better i'm sure we will see way more advanced apps and you can make more advanced apps than what i showed you guys today but you know it, it doesn't go too far beyond this but honestly i didn't know that something like this was possible yet where you can take simple text prompts and generate entire websites from them and especially ones that actually use gpt for themselves like that's really really cool the the whole meta app generation thing play around with this thing below you get two free site generations per sign up and honestly down in the comments below link me your favorite sites that you created with pico i'll try to make sure they get accepted with the youtube comments youtube can ban links sometimes thanks so much for watching viewers and i'll see you in the next video goodbye